Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for episode 71 of Enter the Gungeon, and we are on another boss rush attempt. The last episode didn't go so well, unfortunately. I was so close, yet so far away, and I just had another one of those. I went into the boss, or the dragon's chamber with two hearts and a piece of armor. I think it was a single piece of armor at least. And I ended up dying while almost at the um, the second stage of the fight whereupon I probably could have beaten him, but, um, and I, I'll probably, ow, oh, dang it, I'll probably, I, re I, did, I did record that session, and I'll probably put the recording of the dragon fight in the beginning of this episode, which means you'll already have seen it, of course. Didn't record any voice, then I just thought I'd start record all my sessions in case cool things happen. And as you probably saw in that video, ooh, the mutation early this time, uh, I did get the AK-47 during that run, which I were using against the dragon. And that was interesting, not really a special weapon. It had decent damage. Uh, what I think it does, however, is it can open locked things. Which is what's special about it, essentially. Like, if you fire it at a chest, I think it opens that chest. The bullet acts as a key. I'm not really sure what the projectiles are supposed to be. It's hard to see when they're moving. And they're all glow in stuff. There's our master round, which is nice for this floor. But yeah. It was interesting. It was a pretty nice weapon. Dang it. Hopefully I'll actually be able to beat the dragon this time be nice, get another, get the second kill, this will be, dang it. my armor which is unfortunate. Got another piece of armor though. Uh, do we want to refill this probably? And we're going to head down to the next floor. Didn't use any blanks, which was again, which I probably should have. Only seem to not use them at the appropriate time. This does a pretty decent amount of damage. It has the pretty significant drawback of pushing me back, though. Ow. Damn it. Which is extra dangerous, I realize, when there are pits in the room. Or other hazards, I suppose. It has quite a long range, though. Didn't get a flawless there, which is unfortunate. Maybe we'll get one against the ammo conda. We'll get the Polaris. Which I have seen what it does. Uh, there's actually an indicator when it levels up. It's of course not going to be particularly useful during 
these boss fights because it's uh, it needs kills. And you ain't gonna get the k many kills out of a boss. I wonder if these count. Damn it. Okay. Hopefully we'll get a uh, master round out of the war gun at the very least. I'm not sure if it's worthwhile to shoot those things really because you are while you're doing so you are not putting bullets into the hemoconda itself Polaris is pretty good Ow. even when it's at level 1, because you can shoot pretty fast with it. It's one of those weapons that allow you to fire as fast as you can click, basically, which is nice. There we go. We get some health back and we get the Scrambler, which I still want to call the Executor. Though I suppose that is a Pokemon, so... It's a very good weapon though, it does a lot of damage. For shooting eggs, definitely. There we go. Another master round for us. And the Yari launcher. Yes. Y Yari launcher is good. I'm probably going to save it for the wallmonger just in case I don't get a reload damn it I did that thing again where I allowed myself to be pushed up against the wall why do I do that But yeah, the wallmonger, the Yari launcher, should allow me to take care of him pretty quickly. Cannon Balrog with a bunch of chicks in his in tow. It's pretty amusing. Let's see. One more. Ah, dang it. He becomes Im immune when he does that. It seems he, he can't die when that an animation has started. Charge shot. Not great. Not one of my favorite weapons, although it has the potential to do a bunch of damage, of course. So it might actually be good, but uh, I'm going to stick to the Scrambler for now. Hopefully we'll get a Flawless from this, so I don't have to worry about that while fighting the Door Lord is of course really difficult. Almost got stuck there. I might be getting a flawless now though. 
if I don't mess up. Which is, of course, always a possibility. Oh. Like right there. I was looking at the tank and not where I was standing. So, yeah. Hegemony rifle is not great at all. to stick to this. Ah, dang it. Okay, no flawless on this floor. It's very unfortunate. That was pretty lucky. Should be able to do this with minimal damage, though. It's actually a little late with that blank, I think. But it worked out, fortunately. Ah, uh, the Magnum. Okay. Don't need anything else from here, so you're going to... Pop down to the next floor. Would have really liked a refill for the scrambler. And now we're going to use the Yari launcher, of course. And that gets us. good chunk of the way. Okay, didn't take too much damage, at least. Just a couple of hits. And we do get a refill, we also get the old Goldie. I am going to refill the Yari Launcher because it's going to be useful against the Kill Pillars as well, I hope. Uh, but first, we are fighting this guy again. Flawless there either. Really, three of those. Ow! I hate when he does that. Uh, let's use the pitchfork. Four of those? Seriously? Ow. Starting to get a little low on health. Ow. Let's hide, hide in here. 
It is actually pretty safe. Fortunate. Um, ah, dang it. Oh. Well, we're only halfway into the episode, so we're just going to embark on another attempt. This this day has been both good and bad as far as runs are concerned. I've gotten to the dragon twice, and then I've died. And then I have had a couple of runs where I have not gotten to the dragon. You have to be careful when you try to use environmental hazards against enemies because there's ow dang it should have dodged there there's always a risk that you'll get hurt this is especially true for the explosive barrels because using them generally unless the enemy happens to wander next to them himself or by themselves you have to get next to the barrel to push it and if it's hit, it's going to explode and hurt you, unless you are... I don't think there's a way to be immune to explosions. There's the uh, blast helmet that makes you more resistant to explosions. But you can't be completely immune, I'm pretty sure. At least I haven't seen an item that does that. Right. That didn't go too well either. We get the demon head though, which I am going to use because it's better than the starting weapon. Doesn't actually count as an impact though, apparently. Ow, dang it. Stop that charge like a regular shot would have. Ow. Okay. Let's hope I can get a flawless on the Bullet King. Gungeon Ant is not great. Not great at all. Especially since the Bullet King is immune to fire. Although maybe that's just... It's immune to ground fire, which is what the Gungeon End uses, but the... Or is he immune to fire completely? He might be. Which is annoying. Let's try to guarantee that Lawless so kind, of, kind of need that messed around. close, but I got it. And we get the... Is it? Bundle of Wands. Which is a pretty decent weapon, actually. It does a bunch of damage, which is nice. So I'm going to use this for now. And then, of course, use the... Next uh, ammo box for the demon head. Ow. 
it looks like we might actually get a flawless here. Unless I manage to make some colossal mistake, which I don't. So that's good. Ooh. The kiln. This is new. Gundineers tend to have little regard for the decorative pottery found throughout the gungeon. To help quickly replace the broken decorations, custodians commissioned this pot-producing pistol. This earliest version fired the pots with too much velocity and was therefore discarded. Actually, this is not new. I've had this before. I don't think it was on camera, though. So it will have been new to you. Oh! Oh! Ah, dang it, that was unfortunate. Um, it's happened twice now that the during a boss fight during boss rush, gun fairies have appeared from pots, and that's something I wasn't definitely wasn't expecting. see those very often, not even during regular runs, but I have been playing a lot of these boss rushes. Yeah. Ow, that was dumb. It's hard to tell where he is when he's not on camera. Let's refill the demon head, like I said. We'll probably switch to the Vulcan cannon as my primary. Although for this boss... Uh, probably this will do. Pretty interesting weapon as far as projectiles go. As it fires a projectile that fires more projectiles when it hits, and those projectiles bounce. It's probably a little better for crowd control than boss fights, but since I have it, I'm going to use it. I'll well, always keep firing for a bit before I realize that she's joked down. Oh, it's just a blank. It's not like I have any other use for them after this. Okay, so do. There we get the flawless. And we get the mahogany, which is nice. It's pretty, pretty good weapon. I did beat the dragon with it. Like I, I'm pretty sure I said last episode. What's the description of this say? Infinite ammo. Oh wait, no. I have to select it. This leafy blaster is made of mahogany. A strange wood which will only take root near the gungeon. Okay. I guess... That's what makes it work as a gun. Ah, dang it. Ah, why did I that. 
Okay, it's fine. Still doing pretty well. Ooh, that was close. That could have made the run go from pretty well to just below pretty well. The drawback of the mahogany is that the projectiles aren't dead on always. We have a little bit of a spread. Which didn't matter all that much when I was firing at the dragon's heart point blank. Ow. Dang it, dodged in the wrong direction there. And there I dodged into a, another bullet. Well, this has gone from pretty decent to terrible. Could still turn around though, of course. Unless I die. Then it's not going to turn around, really. Okay, there we go. Get the void core, of void shotgun. It's the... I wonder why it's not called the void core shotgun. Would make sense because that's what the assault rifle is called. Makes me curious about what the difference is. Um, ow. Okay, no flawless there. Which is unfortunate. Means I'm going to have to try very hard to flawless the door lord, which is going to be tricky. Ow. Okay, this is going downhill, which is polar opposite of great. That string of shots from the machine gun, ah oh, dang it, from the tank is always hard to dodge because you dodge in the direction away from the tank but then there will be more bullets from it because it, the arc is turned that way I might have butchered that explanation alright so unfortunately we don't have time for another run we will already be a little bit over time because of the uh, bonus fight in the beginning so we're none we're not close any closer to completing the quest than we were when we started this episode and that's unfortunate but I've gotten some practice in hopefully and maybe trained my reflexes a little so with that I will see you in the next episode